Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these absolutely delicious vanilla flavored patriotic cupcakes. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make them. Hey y'all, all right, a lot of y'all have been asking for another baking video and here it is. We are going to be making these awesome vanilla cupcakes and then topping them with some red, white, and blue buttercream. Now you can make the cupcakes red, white, and blue as well and I might do that. I might just do that. So anyway, first off, we are going to start by whisking together, and I'm not going to use a hand mixer here. We are going to whisk together our liquid ingredients. So you are going to need, right here, three egg whites. You want to use the whites and not the yolk, because the yolk is going to give it sort of like a yellow tinge. The whites keep your cake nice and white. Then we're going to add in one tablespoon of clear vanilla, you don't want the regular vanilla because then again, it's going to add some color. Right here, one half cup of sour cream. This is full fat sour cream. So dump that in there. And then we're going to have one half cup of whole milk. The sour cream, the milk is at room temperature. This is not cold. I measured it out. I let it sit out just for a little bit to come to room temperature. And now we're going to use it. So let's whisk this together and then we're going to add in some butter here in a minute, okay? And this part is going to be lumpy. Do not worry about the lumps. It is not going to be perfectly smooth and in this recipe that does not really matter, okay? So we're going to whisk this together like so just for a minute or two and then we're going to add in our butter. Okay, so what we have here, this is three-fourths cup of unsalted butter it has come to room temperature and I'm just kind of smashing it up a little bit with a fork just to break it up a bit. And then we are going to add that to our liquid ingredients here and we are going to whisk that all together. Like I said, don't worry about this being lumpy. It's not going to make a difference. So this over here and then just whisk it all together. Okay, so like I said, it's going to be a little bit lumpy. So now we're going to start adding in some dry ingredients. And yeah, instead of mixing it in a separate bowl, I'm just going to mix it all in here. So first off, you are going to have one and one half teaspoons of baking powder. Then you're going to have one quarter teaspoon of salt. Add in one cup of white sugar. And I'm going to just whisk all this together before we add in the flour, okay? Let's whisk it all together just to get it all mixed up. All right. Now to that, we are going to add in one and two thirds cup of all purpose flour. And once again, whisk, whisk, whisk. All right. So I have divided my batter up into three bowls. I just left that one there and then scooped some out into these two other bowls. Now we are going to add some coloring and for the coloring, use gel coloring okay now you can find this at walmart hobby lobby you know anywhere that sells at baking supplies and i do suggest that if you are going to be using a lot of it try to find the kind that says no taste red because some reds have a really kind of odd taste to them so i always try to make sure that i get the red that says no taste now these colors are very very concentrated so i just take my spoon and scoop out just a little bit and then we're going to stir it in like I said, bright, vibrant colors, you want to use gel coloring as opposed to the liquid. The liquid, like in the little squirt bottles, doesn't work as well. It'll, it'll be like a pastel color of what you're actually going for, all right? So, there is the red, and I'm going to stir that some more. I know you're like, it's streaky, you need to stir it. I'm going to. Give me a minute. And then we're going to get some of the blue out. And don't get this on your hands, because if you do, it's going to stay a while, okay? <laughs> So let's just stir this together, get it all mixed in, and then we are going to fill up our cupcake liners. Okay, I have the liners in my, my pan here, and I do use two liners per cupcake. I just think it looks better and more vibrant when you take them out to have two liners instead of one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill these up like three quarters of the way, and we are just going to blob the colors together like so uh where did my other spoon go all right so now we'll put some white and then we'll do it again a little bit of blue a little bit of red a little bit of white like i said try to get them like three quarters of the way full so i'm going to fill up all of these 
and then we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for about 18 minutes, okay? You want the centers to be done and the, the tops are gonna be kinda like light and springy when you touch them. So I'm gonna work on these. We're gonna throw them in the oven and I'll be back in about 20 minutes. All right, so here is part of our yummy, yummy cupcakes. Now that recipe, I got roughly 12 cupcakes out of that and I had just a tiny little bit of batter left over. But anyway, I have some more over here. So let's move these out of the way and let's get our big bowl back and a hand mixer so that we can make some buttercream. Okay, so for this buttercream, you're gonna need an entire pound of unsalted butter, okay? So I'm just gonna put all of the butter in the bowl here and then using a hand mixer, I'm gonna cream it up until it is nice and fluffy. Now this is my favorite hand mixer. This one came from Redmond. If you have watched some of my previous videos, you know I love Redmond products. If you want to get this mixer, then look down in the description box and I'll have a link for you. But anyway, I'm just kind of mushing this up a little bit and I'm going to turn it on low and blend it up some more. Okay, so we're just scraping this down a little bit with our silicone scraper. There we go. All right, so now you're going to add in two pounds of confectioner sugar. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. It's going to be all right. Two pounds of confectioner sugar. Okay, so a bag of powdered sugar is two pounds. And what you're gonna do, just to make it easier on yourself and not to bake a big mess, you're gonna add that in half of the bag and then we're gonna cream that up, okay? Then we're gonna add in just a few liquid ingredients and then the remainder of the confectioner sugar. Okay, so now we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla. That is, of course, your clear vanilla. Now we're going to add in one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Just a tiny, tiny pinch of salt. Now I know you're saying, well, if you're gonna add salt, why don't you just use salted butter? Depending on the brand of butter you use, or if you make it yourself, you really can't judge the salt content. And if you don't know the exact salt content, it's best just to use unsalted butter and then add in just a little bit of salt. So now we are just going to cream this up together. Then we are going to add in the remainder of the confectioner sugar and cream that in. Okay, so this is pretty thick. So what you can do, if it's, if it's not the consistency that you like, just add in just the tiniest little bit of milk and then cream it up some more. Add in a little bit more milk, cream it up some more until it gets to the right consistency. You don't want to add in a bunch of milk all at one time because then if you make it too thin, you're going to add in more buttercream and that just gets annoying, right? So we're going to finish creaming this up and then we're going to dye it. <laughs> we're going to dye it. We're going to tin it with our food coloring. I'm in, I'm in craft mode. I'm going to dye it. And then we're going to frost the cupcakes. Okay, so this is done. Now, remember how we had divided up our cupcake batter and we tinted it red and blue. We're going to do the exact same thing with this, okay? Now, if you can see here, my buttercream is a little on the thicker side. That's because I'm getting ready to add coloring. And with the gel coloring I used earlier, that's also really good to use in your buttercream because it's going to give you vibrant color, but not really thin it out like a liquid coloring would, okay? So I am going to tint red and blue, and then we shall pipe. So now I have a big piece of this saran wrap here. I just tore a big piece and put it on the counter. And as you can see, I have all of my buttercream and piping bags. And I just messed that up. I'll fix it. I have more white than I do blue and red. I want it to be mostly white with like just little stripes of red and blue. We're gonna see how this turns out, okay? So what we're gonna do is take our buttercream and we're going to pipe it into stripes. And then we're gonna roll this up and put that inside of another piping bag <laughs> and then frost our cupcakes. So what I'm doing here, I'm just squeezing this out, like a line of the white frosting. And you don't wanna make it so long that it won't fit down inside your other piping bag, okay? And then we're gonna put the red beside of it. And then I wanna put another line of white I'll try to put like a bigger line of white. Like I said, I want more white than the colors. So I'm trying to make that line thicker. There we go. 
let's see, let's put our blue right here. And then we're just gonna continue in that manner making our frosting stripes. And then we're gonna put that inside of another piping bag. Okay, so we have our stripes here. And I'm just kind of cutting, as you can see, I'm just kind of trimming this plastic wrap down a little bit. Now you're gonna grab one end here and you're just gonna gently, 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 just kind of roll it over on itself, like so. Just go slowly. There we go. Now we've made this lovely frosting log. <laughs> and you can see our stripes in there. And I got it on my finger. It's on me. Okay, so where did my other piping bag go? So I have this one here and it is fitted with a 1M star tip. We're gonna put this down inside this bag. So this open end here, this is trimmed pretty close to the frosting. Just be careful so you don't mash all your colors up together. And this is a large bag. I think this is a 16 inch bag. So we're just gonna fit that down in there. Now that we are armed with this, just frost your cupcakes however you want to you want to decorate them. Just going to start at the top. Kind of twist my way down a little bit. There we go. We have that. And then just going to do the rest of them now. And then I have some red, white, and blue sprinkles. We're going to put that on there. So let me get these iced and we'll come back and do that. Okay, so I got these at Walmart. Oh, it's on me. Oh, I've washed my hands like 50 times today. I'm getting tired of washing them. So they have like these sprinkles and then they have some stars. You put whatever you want to. I think I might put some of these little stars. Shake some out in my hand here to make sure I get a good mix of colors. Just sprinkle them on. Whatever I drop, I'll just pick up and put on another one. But anyway, let me finish these and take a good picture so you can see what they look like. And then I'm going to eat one. I know my littles are waiting. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make these. I dropped it. <laughs> if you do. Or if you would. See, I can't even talk. It's hot in here and I'm tired. Please hit the thumbs up. Check me out on other forms of social media. The least all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll talk to y'all later.